just walking back in from searching the backyard for the spadefoot toads and uh, found this guy in my cesspool pond that I have out in my backyard. I decided to uh, just net around in the my little pool fountain that's outside here. Let's go. So you know, you probably already know about it. But there it is. It's a fountain. When the fountain's on, it just the water doesn't go back in the tub, so it just kind of empties it. I gotta fix it. Um, I was gonna fix it this spring and then put fish in it, keep the mosquitoes down. Never got around to it, so now it has no fish, lots of mosquitoes, and tadpoles. So I was gonna tear it apart. But uh, once I noticed the tadpoles, I figured I ought to wait for them to leave. And who knows, I don't know, maybe they'll eat, maybe they'll eat them for me. But yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure on the species, although I am fairly confident that these are Cope's Gray Tree Frogs. Uh, that's what I saw breeding in the pond, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's what I saw breeding in there, there were a couple in there. Uh, a couple weeks back. You can watch the video. I filmed them. So these are surely theirs. And uh, they have a... the tail is quite tall, like broad. And um, I know that the gray tree frogs have a pretty uh, prominent tail. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that's what they are, but you know what we're gonna do? Uh, I just decided right now, we're going to watch these guys grow. All right, so it's been about two weeks since I last filmed these tadpoles. And um, as you can see, focusing in on there, they have their back legs now. Yeah, let's check that out. I was hoping to film them like once a week, and I, I skipped last week. Uh, I've been pretty busy around here, but it looks like I didn't miss, miss much anyway. And here they are. Um, yeah, no front legs yet, just the back legs. Noticeably absent are the mosquito larvae. There's a few, but not like there were. So I'm gonna guess these guys are starting to gobble them up. Yeah, check that out. And yeah, I'm pretty certain now that these are the uh, Cope's Gray Tree Frogs. And they're a little bit larger in size too, but yeah, definitely, you can definitely see those legs haven't come on. That little one just hopped off the bottom. Sure enough, another week has gone by, and uh, we now have froglets. We've got little frogs instead of uh, tadpoles now. There's a few that are still only have their hind legs. There's one in the back here. There we go. And he's pretty much a frog. And I gotta be honest, it took me about twice as many scoops as normal just to get, uh, let's see, one, two, six of these guys. So I think most of them have already um, fully metamorphed into frogs. Yeah, so I, this might be it. This might be the end of the video, guys. Um, I might check back in a couple more days in that pool and, and see if there's anybody left. I hope you've had fun watching this. And check this out. I just had the dogs outside and I heard something hopping around in the leaf litter. Uh, initially I thought it was just a standard uh, American or Fowler's toad. But this is a baby uh, spadefoot toad. So... You can tell because of that, uh, those markings on the back, and then of course those giant bug eyes that are unmistakable. Yeah, it's nice to see one of these little guys. As you recall, they were breeding around my house not too long ago. So it's nice to see one of their offspring. Check him out, he's just the cutest little thing.
I wish I had some bugs small enough to feed him, but hey, he's got plenty to eat out there anyway. What with all the mosquitoes and everything. But yeah, you know, I'm going to return him back outside now and let him be on his way. Very cute. 